The severe weather we've experienced in recent months is causing safety concerns in a Wilkesbury neighborhood. Large trees damaged by wind and rain are now threatening several homes, including a historic building. The I team's Andy Mahalshik is in that neighborhood now. Andy, what's going on? Hey, Candace, we are in the 300 block of South River Street here in Wilkesbury. These large oak trees you see behind me, while city officials say they're dying, if not already dead, the concern is twofold. People getting hurt with falling branches, or these trees are being tangled in utility lines, including power lines. They're concerned they could start a fire if they cut the power. Some people in this Wilkesbury neighborhood describe these large trees as monsters, just waiting to pounce on unsuspecting victims. One of those potential victims, the Butler House, the oldest house in the city. One day I was down on South River Street and across the street I heard thuds. And I went out to look and there were large chunks of tree from across the street of 310, 14 area that had fallen into the street. The Wilkesbury Preservation Society recently purchased the Butler House. It was built in 1793. They're now renovating it. But they say these large dead trees are casting a very long, threatening shadow on them and others in this Wilkesbury neighborhood. Well, it'd be concerned for every property in that neighborhood, and these trees theoretically could fall across South River Street and, and crash into the Butler House. Now, we do have insurance, but who wants to go through a problem like that? Well, you are responsible for the trees that are on your property. So say Wilkesbury city officials. We expect you to maintain the trees. We expect you to take care of the trees. We expect you to trim the trees. The city has no responsibility with that. City code officers have been in contact with the owners of these trees, a New Jersey-based company. You know, they're aware and they are working with a contractor now to try to make arrangements to have those trees taken care of. We're going to hold them to that. And city officials say the owners of these trees could face fines if they're not taken down or at least trimmed. And much even larger than this neighborhood, Wilkesbury officials want to send a message to other property owners all across the city. If you own trees like this, any tree on your property, then you are liable for any damage or injuries they could cause. Reporting on South River Street in Wilkesbury, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Andy, thanks. Eyewitness News reached out to the owner of the trees, and as of this hour, we have not received a response.